China's H-6K, the old bomber that could sink the US Navy. In recent days, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLOF, has stepped up its activities in the South China Sea. For the first time ever, the PLOF has landed Sien H-6K bombers on Witty Island in the disputed Paraseal Archipelago. The Pentagon decried the Chinese move as a part of China's continued militarization of disputed features in the South China Sea, U.S. Pacific Command spokesman LT. COL. Christopher Logan said. The H-6K which is a highly upgraded Chinese copy of the antiquated 1950s era Soviet-built Tupol F-216 Badger is the PLOF's mainstay bomber. But while the Badger design is a Soviet-era antique, internally, the Chinese H-6K is a modern aircraft with a much improved airframe, sensors, and propulsion. The new H-6K variant replaces the old CNWP-8 turbojets found on previous H-6 versions with new Russian Solovive D-30KP-2 turbofans. The D-30 low-bypass two-shaft turbofan which some might call a leaky turbojet has been modified for use on a number of applications ranging from the Mach 2.83 capable Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor to the Ilyushin IL-76 military transport to the IL-62 airliner to the new CNY-20 strategic airlifter. While the D-30 having been originally designed to power the MiG-31 is not an ideal engine for a subsonic bomber or transport aircraft, it is an enormous improvement over the primitive WP-8 turbojets that were originally installed on the H-6. With the new non-afterburning D-30 engines installed in combination with the new composite materials used in the airframe, the H-6K bomber's range is increased by some 30% over previous H-6 variants. The modernized bomber now has a combat radius of roughly 2,200 miles. Avionics-wise, the H-6K dispenses with steam gauges and incorporates a full glass cockpit. The bomber also incorporates a new long-range surface search radar and an electro-optical targeting pod to find its targets. Unlike previous iterations of the Badger, the H-6K was designed primarily as a cruise missile carrier. The jet can carry six CJ-10K or YJ-12 long-range land attack and anti-ship cruise missiles on its wing and potentially several more inside its weapons base. It is also thought to carry a host of precision-guided weapons. That makes it a threat to not only US and Allied shipping, but also land bases. The CJ-10K land attack cruise missile has a range of over 930 nautical miles and carries a 1,100-pound warhead. The weapon which draws heavily from the Soviet-designed Rajiga KH-55 cruise missile that China acquired from Ukraine has many of the advanced features found on the American Tomahawk and the Russian Kaliber. Indeed, the CJ-10K guidance package is thought to include combination of inertial navigation system, satellite navigation, terrain contour matching and digital scene mapping area correlation. There is also an YJ-100 anti-ship variant of the missile that has a range of about 430 nautical miles. Ultimately, the H-6K is just a launch platform, it does not have to be a spectacular performer like the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit or B-21 Raider to be dangerous. Indeed, it is the H-6K's extremely potent long-range missile armament is the real threat rather than the aircraft itself. But the H-6K is just one component of a family of Chinese anti-access systems including anti-ship ballistic missiles that China is developing to keep US forces at bay. The bomber will be used with other Chinese A2-AD forces, and at that role, it pose a serious danger to American interests in the Pacific. She might be old, but she can kill. <laughs>